all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. The sky's gray, it's like this every day The town is full of bread, a little turn, a little prey I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way Hoping that the switch What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist You know why you at it Y'all know what time it is If you ain't with it, you best get with it Now let's rock Listen, hit that sub button. You understand me? Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Mafia and get it popping. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't part of the Fisk Unit, you a hoe. Period. You a hoe. So if you ain't subscribed to this channel, know you a hoe. Next time you look in the mirror, say, I'm a hoe because I ain't subscribed to Fisk Vegas. Period. Now, with that being said, ah. Uh, I told y'all, nothing to worry about, nothing to see, there's nothing to concern yourselves with. The Lakers were going to bounce back. The Lakers was not going to lose two straight games to Chris Paul. It wasn't going to happen. And Phoenix fans, y'all can kiss my ass. I wipe my ass with your feelings. I drink your tears like wine. I don't care. I take all your excuses, put them on a plate, and eat them like steak. I'm trying to tell you, I don't care Chris Paul's shoulder is hurt. It's not my problem. That's your problem. You know Chris Paul get hurt every playoffs. It's what he do. You knew the risk when you got Chris Paul. So don't act shocked. <laughs> don't act stunned. Don't act like you, you, you surprised. You knew Chris Paul was going to get hurt. That's what he does. Did it in Houston. He did it in LA. He doing it with y'all. He's fragile. He's fragile. I mean, for real. I know wet pieces of tissue that's tougher than Chris Paul. Now, to what's important, LeBron James had a bounce back game, which is still bad. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm a little concerned about LeBron. I'm a tad bit concerned because normally when LeBron go down 0-1 or something like that, he normally come out, drive 38 and 10 on your head and, and, and make his presence felt. But this game, it was a little... Yo, how the hell did Caldwell Pope play 30 minutes to score no points? What the hell? I'll get to him in a minute. But, you know, you got Dennis Schroeder. He had 23. Anthony Davis, he bounced back. This man had 34, 10, and 7 with three blocks. So, I mean, Anthony Davis had a big game. But I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like LeBron James' ankle is bothering him. He don't look like LeBron. He just doesn't. He doesn't look like LeBron. And even with that being said, still dominated the game. Still controlled tempo. Still got baskets when they needed it. And he still got everybody involved. He had nine assists. Schroeder got his. Andre Drummond was a beast in the first half. He ended up finishing with 15 and 12. I honestly believe they should play Drummond more. Drummond, look, the starters was Caldwell Pope had 30. Schroeder had 33, <clears throat> 33, LeBron and AD had 39 apiece, Drummond had 24, if Drummond plays 30 to 35 minutes, Drummond has a 20-20 game, at this point, listen, if Gasol ain't got it, Gasol ain't got it, I mean, it, it, for real, like, if Gasol ain't got it, Gasol ain't got it, just play, just play Drummond 35 minutes, they can't do nothing with Drum. just play him 35 minutes, you feel me? I mean, that's where I'm at with the Lakers right now. Just play drum in 35 minutes. Dude would have had a 2020 game. And then when you look at the Clippers, I don't care. I already, already spoke to Chris Paul. I don't give a damn. Um, his cheating ass. We saw what you tried to do to LeBron's shoulder uh, on Sunday. Your little cheating, dirty ass. We, we ain't thinking about you. Uh, Devin Booker, he had 31. DeAndre Ayton had 22 and 10. That's not bad. DeAndre Ayton is not a bum in the playoffs. In the regular season, I don't know what the hell DeAndre Ayton be doing. But in the playoffs, he's getting busy right now. 22-10, his second playoff game is pretty good. Devin Booker dropped 30. But the question, ladies and gentlemen, here's the thing. Now that the Lakers have taken home court, are we sure they're going to get a game in L.A.? 
Are we sure Phoenix is good enough to get a game in LA? Because I don't think they are. I got Lakers in six. Lakers in six. You know what I'm saying? They're going to go home. They're going to win games three and four. Uh, Phoenix will win game five. And then they're going to get their doors blown off in LA for game six. Now, they better be happy that the Lakers ain't got home court. Because it's normally what we say Lakers in five. But because Lakers ain't got home court, it's Lakers in six. All right, so Lakers smacking everybody in six because they ain't got home court. So instead of Lakers in five, we're going to roll with Lakers in six. At the end of the day, they're just a better team. The Lakers' defense is ridiculous. Let this sink in. The Lakers held the Suns to 102 points. Brooklyn scored 130. Dallas scored a buck 27. Clippers scored 121. Hell, the Boston Celtics scored 108. What I'm trying to say is the Lakers' defense held the Phoenix Suns to the lowest scoring total on the board tonight. Or last night, whenever y'all get in this damn video. So, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what else is there to talk about? <laughs> what else is there to talk about? You got LeBron James, the king, the GOAT. Gods get the basketball at about 70%. And AD was motivated. Now, my question is, can we get AD to be that motivated for another three games now my thing is at the end of the game ad was like yo i don't need lebron to tell me what to do i know what to do so i like that dog in him but at the same time ad you gotta show me show me you could do this every game not just once every other game i need to see this dog every game if the lakers get this ad every game there ain't nothing to worry about because LeBron's going to pick and choose his spots. All right, LeBron's playing at 70%. He's an old man on a bad ankle. LeBron going to pick and choose his spots right now. But this AD right here, we need that every game. AD in his mid-20s. There should be no excuses. But I ain't got nothing else to say. You feel me? The, the Lakers in six. Sorry, Phoenix, but your little dream season is over. Your magic carpet ride is over. Take the slippers off or the shoes off at 12 o'clock, whatever the fuck. We, we done with you. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.